going to buy a new boat, Pete? Last time you saw us cruising on the Grand Union Canal to the Saltisford Arm in Warwick. In this episode you'll see us take full advantage of our few days in this safe and secure private moorings, run by the Saltisford Canal Trust. Yeah. We're going on a proper day out today aren't we? We are. Where are we going? Warwick Castle. For free, with Tesco's club card vouchers. That other, was a good fight, wasn't other it? Other superstar, lo superstar loyalty programmes are available. <laughs> so it's only a 20 minute walk from here, the Saltisford Arm. So we're heading into town, hoping the rain stays away. And uh, I can't remember the last time I went to the castle, can you? No. I think I've been to Long Warwick years and years ago, perhaps on a school trip. You've understood every single word of that spec. If you're not, you don't care.
before me, the Earl of Warwick. The year is 1455, and our country is on the brink of civil war. A ferocious tumult amongst men, a cheer for our beautiful queen. And amass vast forces, by my command, hands! Yeah. That was white! Yeah. Yeah. The king is dead. over the engine's feet. How many steps up here do you think?
little. Toilet. I guess the hole goes out inside the castle walls. Yeah, look down there. And after a fabulous day, it was time to head back to the boat. If you're in the area, we definitely recommend a visit to Warwick Castle. We really enjoyed it. And back on the boat, it was time for Poppy's least favourite thing having a shower. We're often asked about logistical things living on the boat and dog grooming is one of those things that we've had to figure out. We found a groomer, Lee, in the middle of the country in rugby and we schedule a year of appointments with him in advance and make sure we have the car near us when we need to drive to see him in rugby. Poppy's never liked going to the groomer since she was a puppy and the groomer's figured out it's the hair dryer she likes the least. So we minimise the stress for her by giving her a shower the evening before we take her. Look what I've got. What's that? It's some honey from the Saltisford Canal Arm Trust. They've got their own beehives and they've started making honey and selling honey. Oh, lovely. So we'll try that on try our that. toast. We need to go morning. and hunt out the hives as well, don't we? Yeah, the hives, I think, are just over there. Yeah. So go okay. on. I think that's the hives over there. We'll go and check those out later. Today, we are meeting our son, Alex. He's going to run us back to Dunchurch Pools to pick up our car. And the dogs are going for grooming. Come on, boy. Just a short walk to the car. Hello. 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 Put in this hatch because we're going to take the hatch back to Russell Narrowboats and they're going to reframe it because we've got some water in the back. So we're going to have a new new liner to our to this side door. Okay, good. Bench you got there, isn't it? It's excellent. It's very it? handy. <laughs> Does the job though. How do you know how to do this just stuff? stuff? You just know stuff. Just know stuff. You like figuring it out, don't you? Yes, that's not part of the fun. Uh, Your dad pop. Learning a thing or two, aren't you?
So what's happened over the winter is we've got some water's got in the back of the hinge into the back of the door and then that's got into the wood, blown out the wood, stained and blown out the wood so the wood's basically needing replacing. So then we get a whole new frame, new insert here and all this redone. And then um Russell's are just gonna do that for Russell's us, aren't just they? Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they've been really good. So. Yeah, excellent service from them. Yeah. And almost three years after we've had our boat, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I just wanna make sure it's right for us really. So Yeah, it's good. We'd planned on doing this job while we were moored in the Saltersford Arm, as it felt far more secure than being out on the canal, knowing that we'd have to leave the boat with this temporary door in place. And it was only just over an hour's drive from Warwick to Burton-on-Trent, where Russell Narrowboats have their workshop. Going to buy a new boat, Pete? I think he dreams, yes. I can dream. Well, these, these just pull out. So I think what's happened is that these are pulled out all the time. Yeah, I can. I can. <laughs> <laughs> So we're at the Saltis for Arm, we're going to go up the Hat and Locks tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And then, um, say hello to the people, Paul. Hello, people. <laughs> <laughs> our, our dog comes and sits on there, too. Come on, man. 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 Come on, You're a really fast worker, Ivan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's had this door for about not even half an hour. He's almost got it sorted already. And of course, while we were there, we had to take the chance to have a look at the new boat that they've got in build with a semi cruiser stern. Do you like this stern, Pete? Yes. It's perhaps one of the things that we'd change to have seating in front of the arc of the tiller arm. While we were waiting for the hatch door to be finished, we headed over for lunch at Mercia Marina, just a few minutes away, and the place where our boat launched three years ago. Good job. Yeah. Stick a quick coat of varnish on it tomorrow, and then we'll leave yeah. it open to dry. Pretty fast drying as well, isn't it? Mate? If you put in that um, exterior stuff, and it takes a little bit longer, doesn't it? That's good, isn't it? Yeah. The next morning, Pete fitted the newly lined hatch door back in place. There we go. Quick coat of varnish and it'll be done. Ta da! Ta da! And for our last evening in Warwick, we headed to the Cape of Good Hope pub. It opened around 1800 and was built as offices, a shop, and a beer house for the Warwick and Napton Canal Company. The buildings were built during the British occupation of the Cape in South Africa an important shipping route. As the canal in Warwick created a vital trade route here, it's most likely how the pub, the locks and the local area gained their name by association. Join us next time as we're joined by good friends to help us up the 21 locks of the Hatton flight. Martin over there walked down to catch up with us to see if we wanted some help. Give us away, Martin! <laughs> and we continue our journey towards Stratford-upon-Avon. Thank you so much to everybody that supports our channel through Buy Me A Coffee and YouTube Super Thanks. And as always, thank you to all of our viewers.
If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and give us a like. And leave us a comment and tell us what you thought. I need you on my fire I want you to know That every time you're away I long for you so much I can find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all